Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, that thing's going in there. That's that's basically about it. So I've got the bracket on and the charcoal canister out of the way. Now all I need to do is top the bottom engine mount and then that basically just gets through in there and left. That's near enough how an engine's what goes, right? So since I last spoke to you all, I've talked to the rear engine mounts, moved the car back a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do is jack it up on both sides, slide the engine under, and then figure out what we have to do from there. So from last time I've recorded, the car's now lifted. I've got a lift kit for it, 38 pence. Uh, I got the inlet manifold off because jacking it up high enough with the inlet manifold on was going to be a massive pain in the arse, as well as getting it on the jack stands. But now it's up in the air, the engine's going to be easy to get under. The only problem is getting it so it reaches that engine mount is going to be a bit of a pain in the arse. But we'll figure something out. Now, oh, in other news, it's held up with a hammer. How are you holding an engine up, people? I now sexually identify as an engine. Engine is on the floor, and now I am engine. Yes, this is how it works. You have fucking issues. <laughs> Find myself a mate. I'm gonna make more little engines with it. But on a serious note, the engine is now near enough ready to just go in and on the mounts. That mount needs to kind of put him back, and then. Well, that's it really, it just needs jacking up and putting in place and then securing and then I'm going to have to put a jack stand under there so it stays level and doesn't hang wonky. And that's about it, the engine will be in, now it's just needed in a gearbox really. Simple stuff, easy enough to do, don't recommend anyone doing it without a crane because it would have made this so much easier. So the engine's kind of in, the intake manifold, half of it's on. We sprung a bit of a leak, and now I'm like Jesus separating the fucking sea of oil. Now the engine's kind of back together, it does look like it kind of is meant to be in here, which is good. Just gonna try and get a bit more of it done, and then I'll probably catch you guys up or something. Or I'll just time lapse it, depending if I can find something to lean my camera against. So we've got the rear engine mount in, it's not talked up yet, to get this one in. It's going to be fairly straightforward now, all we've got to do is tilt it and lift it up. Then it should just drop into place or lift into place. Again, we've got oil all over the floor. These cushions do actually serve a purpose. And uh, yeah, that's basically about it. This has been the most in detail video how to swap an engine. It doesn't actually take that long to put an engine in. Everyone who says it takes days, stop being fucking dramatic. So about half an hour later, with a bit more help, we managed to get the engine in wasn't actually that difficult, we literally just needed to get that mount on, which went through about 50 bolts trying to find the right ones. Literally through, like, majority of these trying to get the right ones, but it's in, and it's now ready for a gearbox, and when the gearbox is in, that that just makes it near enough done. Like, you could say it's bay shaved, that's one way to put it. Uh, turbo delete, intake delete, coil pack delete, gearbox delete, everything delete. Except the oil, the oil's all over the floor. <laughs> but, oil yeah, oil replacement. Um, but other than that, it's near enough done. Like, I wanted to get the engine in this week, got the engine in this week, so... Yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, like and subscribe down below as you always do. I'll see you guys in the next bloody video.